What's up everyone? So there are loads of options when it comes to control pads for the Nintendo Switch, but how do you know which is the right one, especially if you're shopping on a budget? Let's face it, the Pro Controller is the best way to play the Switch when you're not limited to just playing in handheld. And I even find myself playing in tabletop just so I can use my Pro Controller. Compared to the Joy-Cons, the Pro Controller is cheaper, but it will still set you back the price of a game. And no one really wants to be forking out that much, especially if you're just after a second control pad for some local multiplayer fun. That's where third party pads come in. And again, with a variety of options out there, which one do you choose? Thank you to the lovely people at Easy SMX. They sent me over their new wireless ESM YS06 control pad and as you can see it's beautiful. Now they do come in various designs and it's definitely more appealing than just having your typical black controller. This design which you can see takes inspiration from Pokemon and Pikachu and has a gloss finish which really makes the gold pop out from the black and is definitely my favorite design from the bunch. Not only does the controller look great but and most importantly it works really well too. The first thing you'll notice about the pad is how much lighter it is in comparison to the official Pro Controller. It does feel comfortable to hold however, and because of the gloss finish, you won't have to worry about fingerprints or marks being left on the pad, as they can be easily wiped away. The analog sticks feel very sturdy and not too loose like some pads do. The buttons all have a slightly clicky feel to them, but it's nothing that will put you off when you're playing, but it did take me a little getting used to. The Easy SMX pad also comes with dual vibration, 6 axis gyro sensor and has a turbo function built in so with the click of a button you can program for rapid fire or depending on what it is you want to do in your particular game. The vibration intensity can also be enhanced or reduced. The only thing this pad doesn't include is the NFC technology that can be found in the official Pro Controller so no amiibo connecting here if that's your thing. But for a pad that's half the price of the official one, I have to admit I'm pretty impressed. Oh, and another thing, something you won't find in most third party pads, wait for it. Yes, that's right, this one can wake the switch up from sleep mode. That might seem like a small detail, but it's a welcome addition and something that is sure to come in handy to most gamers out there. The YSO6 boasts around six hours of game time and I've been using this for around that time now playing with a variety of different games on my Switch and it still has plenty of power left. To get to full charge it says it takes around 2 hours with a standby time of 25 days. The YSO6 is around £25 and not only works with the Nintendo Switch family of consoles but also with Android and Windows devices. I think it's a great pad for gamers who are on a budget but who want a reliable pad with nearly as all the features that you'll find in the official Pro Controllers. I'll leave a link to the site in the description below and also a discount code so you can get 15% off all the game pads. Thanks for watching and as always if you like the video hit the like button. If you want to see more then subscribe and I'll catch you next time.